Jordan, what uh, what were your thoughts when you went into the huddle there for that final drive? Did you say anything to the guys, or just kind of what was the what was the vibe as you guys started that last possession? Yeah, mindset right there is always go win the game. You know, it's a two minute drive. We we need a field goal. We know what we need to do. Um, so the mindset is just go win the game. You know, it's it's kind of coming down to us. Defense got a great stop, only getting them a you know field goal right there. So uh, we knew what it was. It was just go win the game. What does it say about the team with the, all the mistakes that you're still able to win despite the turnovers? Yeah, you know, it's a, uh, you know, like you said, it's a team win. You know, it's a four quarter battle. Um, you know, it wasn't perfect. Definitely was not perfect. A lot of mistakes. Um, but, you know, we found a way to win, and that's what it's all about. You know, that's what it comes down to is uh, the fourth quarter and finding a way. And that's what we did. What did it take on the final drive, Jordan? I mean, what was what was working? Uh, you know, what what did you feel was the key to, to, to getting down there? Yeah, we knew. I mean, we had we had a good amount of time there. Um, so uh, just trying to move the ball, and I think we did that with we threw a couple slants right there. Um, Rome had some big time plays. Um, you know, Tuck made a guy miss and uh, got a couple extra yards. So um, just trying to get those yards and, and chip away, um, get get to you know what we thought would be field goal range around that 30 yard line. So, um, you know, stuff that we practice all the time, just going out there and having to find a way to execute and finish it. The uh, touchdown to Wicks, <clears throat> you, you went to the line right away. Did you know, it sure looked like that was a backward pass. Did you know that? Is that why you went to the line? Was that your decision or did that come through your helmet? Or Yeah, we weren't sure. Um, we weren't sure if it was a backwards pass, forward pass. So when in doubt, we're going to go fast, try and get a playoff. Um, and beat that right there. But, um, you know, I'm not sure. I think it was actually a forward. I felt like I was throwing it forward when I threw it. But uh, when in doubt, we're going to go fast. What was the, uh, did you call the play, or did Matt, uh, did going faster actually help you on that one, you think? Or? Matt called the play from the sideline. Um, you know, I think it did. I think, uh, you know, they, they were a little misconfused on defense. Um, so I think when, anytime, anytime you can go fast and, uh, you know, catch them uh, off guard, it's going to help you. The touchdown to Tucker. Um, it seemed like a really tight window. Did you realize it would be that tight when you threw it, and what did you think of that? Window? Yeah, no, I, uh, you know, the backside safety is the one who, who got in the way of that one. And, uh, you know, I wasn't trying to lead him that far across. So um, I wanted to kind of put it on his body. And, um, you know, it came a little bit farther across than I wanted to. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's tight windows. A lot of passes happen like that. And Tuck did a phenomenal job to be able to, um, you know, just stay focused on the ball and uh, make a great catch right there with a, you know, a guy jumping right in front of his face. So um, it was a big-time play by him. On that note, Jordan, you've already thrown an interception at the point. If that's happened, you throw another one later. How do you keep the confidence to keep not overly tight windows, but putting the ball into you know not big wide open windows like that? Yeah, it's. I mean, it's the NFL. You know, it's. Uh, there's. There's not always going to be wide open guys, you know, it's going to be tight windows. You got to fit the ball in there sometimes. And, um, you know, I'm gonna keep playing, you know, I, I learn and grow from the mistakes, the interceptions and just keep playing, keep moving on. But um, that's not going to ever, you know, limit me. You know, I got to keep going out there and being the best player I can for my team. So I'm going to uh, always be aggressive, but there's always going to be those tight window throws. Along those lines, you had you know, a couple <clears throat> great throws for the touchdowns, but two picks. Why don't you think you, you played today overall? What was that? How did you think you played today overall? You had the couple really good touchdown passes, but a couple picks too. Yeah, uh, I think it was all right. You know, I think uh, I definitely want to be able to limit those mistakes, the interceptions, uh, and just do better, take care of the ball. So uh, definitely got to clean that up. And, um, you know, I think if I clean that up, it'd be, you know, a better game. But um, that definitely hurt me. But, um, you know, got to bounce back and respond to them. Uh, the game's not going to be perfect, but definitely moving forward, want to be uh, better with the ball. What, what is that fine line, Jordan, between being aggressive like you want to be and making those big plays that win games, but then being a little over aggressive and making those mistakes? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's the, you just got to play the game. You know, you got to go out there and play it. Um, you can't try and, you know, not be aggressive and just take check downs all day. You got to be out there and be aggressive and go win those uh, games. So um, I'm going to always play the way I play and uh, learn from the mistakes and, uh, you know, grow from them. Yeah, no, you could tell Brandon is a vet, you know, he's been around for a while, um, even all week in practice, you know, the way he's kicking the ball and, uh, you know, just walks off like it's a, another, uh, you know, walk in the park. So uh, I think he has a lot of confidence um, in his leg and his ability. And, um, you know, I think he's played a lot of ball, made a lot of big time kicks. So um, I think that was a, uh, 
uh, no problem for him today. But uh, he went out there, you know, I saw a lot of confidence from him. And uh, once he made that first one, I knew he was going to make that second one. So um, that was a big time kick for him. Obviously, just got here uh, this week. So to come in and win the game uh, for us, that's huge. Was it for you guys? Go ahead. Go ahead. A lot of NFL games come down to this, where you get the ball back, less than two minutes to go. What does that do for you? What does that do for the, the guys you play with to, to have that to, to win a game like this fairly early in the season? Yeah, it's huge. Um, you know, I think that's one of the biggest areas that uh, we tried to improve on from last year. I think we, we came up short too many times last year in these two-minute drill situations go in the game. And uh, so we've definitely put a lot of time uh, into it in practice uh, through our training camp, OTAs, and uh, every week. So um, it's definitely been something that we've uh, focused on. And, um, you know, it's, it's definitely good to be able to go out there and put a drive together and get into field goal range and, and uh, come up victorious right there. More sure of yourself than you did last season in that kind of situations. Do I feel what? Sorry. More sure of yourself. Um, yeah, I mean, I think uh, we've repped these situations a lot more. Um, you know, it always is tough. You know, uh, just how how critical every play is in those uh, two minute situations. So uh, definitely a lot of stuff we learned from last year. But uh, I'm always confident that we'll go out there and be able to put a drive together. But it definitely comes down to uh, making all those plays, and uh, I think we did a good job of doing that this game. Active, active Brandon, what does it do for you guys as an offense to have a reliable, proven kicker who's been there and done that? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's huge. It uh, gives you confidence, um, gives the team confidence, you know, just knowing that we got to get that ball to about that 30-yard line uh, and that he's going to be able to make that kick is, is huge, and I think he came up uh, big for us tonight. You talked about Brandon a lot, but what about Wheeler? The punts that he delivered backed up in the second half. Yeah, that was that was also very big time. Um, you know, uh, there was a couple of times in the second half we went three and out and just kind of uh, stalled out on offense. And uh, to be able to have a, a punter be able to flip the field like that, and uh, you know, it puts a lot of stress on the offense. And uh, when the defense is playing the way they were tonight, um, all those yards come up uh, big time. So uh, you know, he, he he had a great game, uh, some big time punts for sure. What did it mean for Josh to get his first reception for a touchdown? That was huge. Um, you know, that's something that we've talked about all season, trying to get Josh that uh, first receiving touchdown, and uh, we're able to do that. So I'm very happy for him. And uh, it was a great little catch and run by him on the screen. But uh, definitely something we've been wanting to do, and uh, glad we were able to make that happen. And on the finishing drive, you go from a minute down to 27 seconds, I think, and when you're at the 37. Were you guys good on that clock management in that situation? Yeah, I mean, uh, we're always trying to uh, go as fast as possible, save as much time as possible. And, uh, you know, they're doing, they started trying to heat us up a little bit right there. So we we're trying to get in the perfect play. But uh, just knowing once we cross that 50 that, you know, you just need a couple more uh, yards. That every play is critical and we don't want to have any negative plays. So I'd rather take that time, make sure the protection, uh, everything is on point uh, so we don't have any negative plays right there. Yeah, interception to throw to Watson. What did you see on that one? Uh, yeah, you know, they went man coverage. We had a, he was kind of running a, a deep, uh, high cross on the back end. And, uh, you know, I just sailed it, sailed the ball. I think we had him and uh, just sailed it, overthrew him in the safety, was able to make a play on that one. So, uh, you know, not great. What you, would you think of how the defense played for you guys today? Yeah, defense played phenomenal. Um, you know, that's a really good offense on the other side right there. And, uh, you know, I think they did some really good things all night with, uh, you know, being aggressive. Um, you know, being able to hold that passing game to uh, whatever, I don't even know how many yards they had, but um, yeah, so I think they did a great job. Um, I think the rush package we had out there was, was doing a great job to get home, and then the, the DBs on the back end were doing a great job. But uh, that's, it's not an easy task, and that's a really good offense, so I think they did a great job. So, more for Jordan. Jordan, <laughs> late in the game, every, every athlete says that they got to treat everything the same way, but it's, it's do or die. So. Do you have to slow your heart rate down? I mean, you're pretty even keeled in general, so is it just normal for you, or what do you got to do to make it be like you know, not too big for that spot? Yeah, my mindset is just take it, um, just make it another drive. You know, obviously there's a lot of pressure, uh, the game on the line. So um, I think if uh, you let the moment get too big, you're not going to be able to go out there and execute the way you want to. So definitely just try and uh, focus on breathing and uh, uh, slowing the heart rate down, things like that. But uh, just trying to focus on the details of the plays and, uh, you know, make the most out of that situation. But um, definitely try and just make it as normal of another drive as possible. Amongst the players, is there any almost joking this week going, hey, this game's going to come down to a field goal like it did? 
No, I don't think, uh, you know, it's, it's crazy the way it ended up for sure uh, with Brandon just getting here um, and, you know, kind of having him that last second kick to win it. So I'm um, glad the way it worked out. But no, I mean, if, you never know how these games are going to go. Um, we knew coming into it, it was definitely going to be a, a four quarter game. You know, we got a really good team coming in here. Um, and, you know, it's going to be exchanging those blows on both sides on offense and defense. So, um, you know, we knew it was going to be a four quarter game, but you never know how it's going to finish up.